Well, ethical franchising is a norm that a business has. It's standards and norms that people do the good practice in business so that things are right and wrong. So you have the differentiation of right and wrong. And it's a very difficult thing to implement. Uh, ethical behavior is what what is it? Uh, nobody really understands it. It's just that your own personal values and also the company values are then put into a process that it actually gets practiced within a business. Well, ethical franchising is a norm that a business has. It's standards and norms that people do the good practice in business so that things are right and wrong. So you have the differentiation of right and wrong. And it's a very difficult thing to implement. Uh, ethical behavior is what, what is it? Uh, nobody really understands it. It's just that your own personal values and also the company values are then put into a process that it actually gets practiced within a business. There's various ways of doing it, but first thing is training. You need to train your staff. So how do you train your staff? You often do it on onboarding. So you do a course for people on an onboarding. So then you do it in your uh, human resources uh, policies. Your human resources policies uh, would explain what is wrong and what is right. And so that's uh, what do you do if you, if you steal something and uh, what's going to happen to you? So the, the human resources gives you a whole value set of what is right and wrong. But it goes further than that. It's often the leaders that actually implement uh, the ethical behavior. If a, if a leader is not ethical, then the, the company won't be. So then you set up a code of ethics for your leaders and un let them understand what, uh, what their code of ethics are. So you're going to do that for your franchisee and then also for your staff. You have a separate uh, set of uh, a code of ethics that then gets implemented with the uh, with the leaders it all comes boils down to is what is your leadership is there communication is there ways of do, uh, of talking to your staff what is right and wrong acceptable um, do we schnei the the the, poor, uh, the customer or do we actually have a way of managing it then the other way is uh, having what we call a, a green space for staff. So communication once again. So a set of values which is then communicated to the staff. It can be, it can be weekly, uh, daily. And your green area is where you talk about things, make decisions on what is right and wrong in the business. Uh, how, uh, how do we implement it? Often you make a decision that actually doesn't really look good, uh, but for you it looks good, but you're, uh, you need to communicate it with your staff and they'll give you feedback on that. So basically it's training, then it comes down to your human resources. So it's uh, training, onboarding and continuous training. And then uh, performance management is the big one. We often forget that uh, performance management should be done even in a small business. Once a year, you don't have to do more than that. And that performance, uh, performance management gives you the process of stating to the, the, the employee what the right and wrong and the acceptable norms in your company is, and you can rectify it. And you can, you can actually implement it by either more training and you, you highlight areas where the staff member has failed in your code of ethics for the business and you can, uh, can actually fix it up. So it's very simple stuff, not complicated stuff, but it has to start with the franchisor. The franchisor has to set the norms, the, tra the training structure. So that's why your training is imperative to have a, a proper right courses. And then you have to have your HR manuals 
and your HR should be very clear what your code of ethics is. And then you need to uh, transfer that into your vision and mission statement and your code of ethics, which should be publicly available for the staff on a board or whatever. And that, that way you, you will implement that. So it's a culture building process. And that can only be done through a training and, and leading by example. So your franchisor needs to lead by example, and then your franchisee will follow through with the same code of ethics. And if, the, if they do not follow through the process, there are ways to manage it, especially with your franchisees. And often franchisors miss this. And, that, and that's why you would have an operations manager that goes through and ensures that the ethical behavior of the business is done where they actually are doing the right stuff and not the wrong stuff, not overcharging, undercharging, that sort of stuff. Is everything in the shop clean, that sort of stuff. And that that all boils down to your code of ethics. Do we are we ethical? Is everything working? Is what is right and what is wrong? It's simple.